Hey YouTube, uh, welcome back to the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, reviews. Um, I am about to begin Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 1. So, let's get started. So, in this episode, um, the team is trying to... Um, Find the Inhumans, which were, which as we know from last season, um, the Terrigen Crystals were released into the sea. And this has basically led to, um, to humans now, um, turning into Inhumans because of the mutated fish. Um, basically all of the aquatic life um, carried the Terrigen, um, the Terrigen crystals power thing. Um, and because we obviously eat fish, um, people have have got the powers that way. So I found that really, really interesting. Um, and the the opening to this episode was really, really good. Um, as we saw, as we saw, um, a destroy kind of like a destroyed city. Um, but. And it, it was caused by this one person. And I did find that really, really interesting. And so sort of seeing um, Daisy, who we're now going to start calling uh, Sky Daisy from, from now on. Um, Daisy basically um, it, it extracts this guy and brings him to S.H.I.E.L.D. Meanwhile, the team is um, kind of investigating this mysterious organization um, created by the government. And the reason why um, this organization has been formed is because the events of the Avengers, Captain America Winter Soldier, and Avengers Age of Ultron have all led to, um, have all led to, um, the government fearing, um, these alien threats. And not just alien threats, I reckon a lot of this has to do with superheroes as well. So we're really, really getting a good sense of the Civil War um, coming out next May. We're really, really beginning to see all of that play out. Um, okay, um, and we also have Fitz trying to um, investigate where Simmons is. And it's revealed that Simmons is... Um, on a distant planet of some kind. So, what we're seeing is we're seeing a very interesting um, set of, a very interesting opening to this episode. Um, and I did very much like the opening to this episode. Um, there are a lot of stuff that's happening in this in this episode, and there are a lot of stuff sort of being being played around here. Um, I really liked um, seeing. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So one of the key aspects that I liked about 
this episode was um, the Civil War aspects. Um, we are definitely seeing um, the events from the movies really playing a key factor into this story. Um, and I think that's really the number thing, the number one thing that you can take away from this story is the fact that the Civil War is definitely on the minds of the government. We also saw um, the guy from Iron Man Three, the president, in that movie. Um, make an appearance in in this movie. Now I have a theory that um, he might actually be, be Red Skull. Um, if those of you who haven't um, watched my Avengers Red Mist um, review which I will try and leave a review tag somewhere here so you guys can check out that review. Basically in that story, um, the Red Skull actually um, posed as some kind of government figure. And I reckon that's what's happening um, next is happening. I reckon the president is actually Red Skull. Um, and I find, and I find that potentially very, very interesting. And it's definitely going to be interesting to see where the movie, um, the movies and the TV show follow suit. Um, yeah, um, and the fact that we're calling Daisy Sky is really interesting. Um, I like the fact that she's being called Daisy. And also, I like the fact that she is more of a superhero um, in, the, it, in this episode. It, it was really, really cool to see her act in this sort of heroic manner and I'm really really excited that we are seeing the true Quake, the true Daisy. Um, I don't know very much about this character but I'm really really excited to see her um, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I think what they've done with her character is very very interesting and I'm very very much looking forward to continuing this uh, season. So that's the end of my review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and do stay tuned for uh, for more. Um, also um, stay tuned as I'm going to be reviewing Vixen um, from episode 1 to 6. So stay tuned for that. I'm Robin Nats one here and I shall see you all very soon for the next review. Bye.